Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun art lesson, we're going to be making a robot out of shapes. Now there are lots of different shapes that you guys can use for this, and you want to think about some shapes when you guys are making your robot, because the entire thing is going to be built out of shapes. Now, just remember, when making a shape, a shape is always going to be enclosed in. If it's got openings, then technically it's just a line. Now, to start this project, you're going to need some things like paper, a pencil, an eraser, and then some things to color with. I like using markers and crayons, but you can use anything, colored pencils, paint, whatever you want. But thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, to start off with my robot, I'm going to be using lots of shapes. And the nice thing is we can use these shapes to build all sorts of different parts of our robot. You can use squares, rectangles, triangles, circles, anything you guys want to. Now, I want to start with my robot. I'm going to begin with the head of my robot. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm just going to make a nice square shape for the top of my robot's head. So I'm just going to create a nice little square shape right here. Now, I want to make a nice little kind of square or even a rectangle for the body, but instead of connecting it, I want to leave a little bit of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my shape right down here. I guess I'll go with a little bit more of a square shape for the body. Now, I'm going to leave some space again, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little upside-down triangle underneath here, kind of for like the waist of my robot. It's going to look like an arrow pointing down. Now, for the legs, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little curved line on each side, like this. And then I'm just going to connect them. It's kind of like a curved rectangle. And I'll do that same thing over here. I'll make two curved lines, and I'll just connect them. Now, for the feet of my robot, once again, I'm going to leave some space, and I'm just going to make some triangles. So I'll draw a triangle right here, and then also draw another long triangle out here for some feet on my robot. Now, up here, I want to make some shoulders, and I'm going to make a half circle on each side for the shoulder of my robot. So we'll just make some little half circles. And you can do a couple different things. I could add a nice, long, skinny rectangle out here for an arm. You could always do this, too. You could add a smaller rectangle, add like a circle shape in here, and then add another little rectangle shape right here to make the arms a little bit longer. And I can do that over here too. I could even add a little shape like this and then another one coming off of here, just a small one. Now, I have all these basic shapes on here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to connect them. I like to just come in here and connect them with little lines like this. And this just kind of shows that everything is connected on our robot. And I'm just going to come in here and connect them using two little lines. So now we have our basic shape of our robot. Now one of the things we want to do is come in here and add some different details on here. One of the things we want to do is add the face. I'm just going to make a nice little line that goes across here. And I'm going to make some little lines that come down on my robot. Now up here I want to make some eyes. So what I'm going to do is just make some nice circle shapes here and right here for some eyes on my robot. And I also like to make some inside as well. Just to give them a little bit more of a detailed look. I actually might come through here and draw a little line across on my robot too. I'm going to add some extra details, like maybe some little rectangle shapes here, and then maybe some little lines coming up with a circle on the end for like some little antennas. I could always go and add a little half circle on top with another antenna. And I also want to give my robot some hands. Now there's lots of different ways you can do this. I'm actually going to use this as a hand, and I'm just going to make some long, skinny rectangles coming off of here for a hand. But I could also go and just add something like a little magnet shape on here as well.
Now we can also come in here and add some different details onto our robots as well. Something you can do is a lot of people like to add a square shape in here, and then that can be like a door that you know the robot could keep stuff in. Then you want to draw a little handle or something on here too. I like to come in here and add some different little button shapes on here for my robot. And I also like to come in here and add some small little black dots in some spots just to show where there might be like some screws or bolts, different things like that. And you can add these wherever you want to on your robot. And then the fun part is just coming in here and adding different details, like little lines like this for extra little shapes. I could come in here and add little lines going across for some details. There's lots of different things. Maybe some half circles on the bottom for some little wheels. And then you can just do lots of different things, lots of shapes for buttons, details, all sorts of different things, just to make your robot look unique and to have some fun with it. And then when you're all done, you have a fun, cool looking little robot that you just built completely out of shapes. And once you're done with that, then the next step is to begin the coloring part of our robot. Now, when it comes to coloring your robot, you can do lots of different things. I like to use a lot of gray in here, and then I like to use some different colors to make some other things kind of pop out. Now, you can use other colors, though, but make sure if you use other colors, you're not going crazy. We don't want a rainbow explosion. Think about just sticking with maybe three or four colors for your whole robot. Now, when you color this, you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever. But I'm going to use some markers, and I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. And here you go, here is your drawing of a robot, your little robot art lesson. Now you can see that I used lots of markers and I stuck with about four different colors just to kind of color my robot. And then in the background I did a simple little line pattern with markers and then I came in here and colored the rest of it with very lightly with crayons just to kind of add a nice little pattern in the background and to really make my picture stand out. But there you go. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed.